Well that was fun, but I need to get back to work. Let me hand you off to your human tour guide. Welcome to the Biocero Acceleration Lab. My name is Ahmad Mansour and I'll be your host today. The Acceleration Lab was built to provide Biocero the ability to explore and develop technologies that advance human health. Our mission is to provide tools that allow scientists to make better decisions with more data in less time. At Biocero, we take our work very seriously, but we are obviously not above having some fun. Meet Yoda, the world's most reliable life science mobile robot. Yoda can open doors, turn on lights, control elevators, and of course, make music. But more importantly, Yoda provides us an entirely new level of automation integration. With Biocero's mobile robot platform, users can now create automated workflows that span multiple work cells, standalone devices, and manual operations. When integrated with the building's control system, our mobile robots can travel from lab to lab and floor to floor. What makes this level of integration possible is a software architecture that allows for a seamless stitching of many disparate types of systems. It's an architecture built on a server-based product called Data Services. But to better understand the capabilities made possible by Data Services, we need to talk a little bit about the various systems and devices in this lab. As you watch this presentation, you will notice a broad representation of equipment common to a laboratory environment. Some of the devices are integrated into automated work cells that are typical of an automated lab. Others operate as standalone devices for manual interaction, and yet others that operate unobtrusively, such as the environment monitoring sensors scattered throughout the lab. The fully automated work cells, Argo, Cappy, and Yoda, the semi-automated cell culture work cell, which you see before you, and the tablet-based manual workstations are individually managed by Biocero's automation scheduling software, known as Green Button Go. The room lights, doors, and sensors are integrated and driven by an IoT version of Green Button Go. In all, there are about 12 different instances of GBG in the lab. Green Button Go methods that are specific to each of those systems are built and reside on their local computers or tablets. If you work in an automated lab, then this Islands of Automation scenario might be familiar to you. By creating an environment that reflects, to a certain extent, a real-world lab, we can develop and test new solutions without asking our customers to be beta testers. Solutions such as mobile robotics, machine vision localization, whole lab workflow design, real-time work cell views, as you are currently watching in the inset, and many other technologies that elevate automation to the whole lab level. To achieve this kind of integration, an integration that can potentially turn every work cell device and process into a globally available resource, Biocera has developed a back-end platform called GBG Data Services. It's an unassuming name for a product with so much power. In a nutshell, Data Services is the central hub for the entire lab. Every instance of Green Button Go in the Acceleration Lab is registered with data services. Registration establishes a continuous two-way connection between a work cell and data services. Once registered, a work cell's methods, among other things, are exposed and become globally available to all other registered instances of GBG. The dashboard that is currently bouncing around the screen is a Biocero product that partially demonstrates the point I'm getting to. 
The four work cells that we are monitoring in the dashboard are continuously providing status updates to data services. As you can see, the individual panels are intermittently switching between being green and gray. Gray simply means that the system is not currently running. If an error were to occur, the panel would turn red. In the bottom border region of each panel, there is a status bar that tracks method or assay progress. Updates from the work cells are not limited to just assay status, but also include work cell and device level utilization data. Data that allows us to track the work history of any device in the lab, and thereby identify bottlenecks and over or underutilized resources. What I just described represents a one-way flow of information necessary for real-time monitoring and usage analytics. But we want to do more. We want to call upon remote work cells and schedule or submit jobs to them. We want to create workflows that span multiple work cells, and we want to automate the transport between them. With data services as the hub that exposes all of the available resources and methods, we just need a tool that allows us to call upon and communicate orders to those resources. To be able to orchestrate the timing of multiple methods across multiple work cells, as well as manage the physical transport of materials between them. Which is what you have been watching today. GBG Order Manager provides us the ability to create new workflows, submit or schedule orders, and track active orders. Submitting new orders is as simple as selecting the desired job and applying required parameters, run size, sample IDs, etc. For example, when I started today's tour, the soundtrack I selected was Daft Punk and the language was English. What you saw was a series of actions that make up the Acceleration Lab tour workflow. The door opened, the lights turned on, Yoda rolled in playing French techno and greeted us in English. Simultaneously, the Argo work cell prepared a plate for disposal and launched a separate process that ran in the background while the mobile robot collected and disposed of the plate. When that was completed, the semi-automated cell culture work cell retrieved the plate from the automated incubator that was then picked up by Yoda and transferred to the plate reader for imaging. The process continued from there, but I think you can see that despite the lighthearted nature of the demo, the orchestration of all those events was not a trivial matter. Data Services exposes and makes available all of the resources in the lab that Order Manager then strings together in a coherent sequence of events. What you are watching now is another example of a workflow that was submitted through Order Manager. In this particular case, we are demonstrating the integration of a manual process with an automated one. The mobile robot just picked up a rack of vials that, for argument's sake, contain freshly weighed compounds designated for storage. The rack is an end product of a manual operation and the final step is to QC them before they go to store. Though not demonstrated here, the weighing of the compounds was guided by a manual workflow management tool called GBG Lab Experience. Lab Experience, like the other flavors of GBG in the lab, is also registered with data services and makes all of its methods available to order manager. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about our mobile robot solution. Yoda is made up of three basic subsystems, an autonomous ground vehicle or AGV, a collaborative robot arm, and, mission and, <laughs> and a machine vision system for localizing plate nests and device trays. AGVs are very common in warehousing and production environments. They are a proven technology that is both highly effective and safe. They navigate the lab using an internal coordinate system based on a detailed map of the room and the objects in it. The forward-facing LIDAR and side lasers provide real-time object detection. Collision avoidance and course correction are built in. The robot arm is collaborative and is commonly used in lab automation. The machine vision system is based on a high performance camera and provides the ability to get and put labware with a very high degree of accuracy. All autonomous ground vehicles have a limited positional accuracy. They operate well within the tolerances of a, of a production environment, but in a lab environment, they merely get us into the ballpark. Yoda's positional tolerance at best is plus or minus 20 millimeters. 
By adding a machine vision system, we can close the gap. Once Yoda arrives at a destination, the vision system will identify the exact location of the nest, then make an appropriate adjustment to the arm's teach point. In closing, I want to say that Biocero is a purpose-driven company. We believe that the end product of science is knowledge, knowledge that leads to cures and advances human health. We believe that the role of automation is to reduce the barriers between you and the knowledge you are pursuing and to accelerate discovery. My name is Ahmad Mansour, and I thank you for joining me at Biocero's Acceleration Lab.